This episode is brought to you by our sponsor, Phantom Boxing, a brand new company starting in late 2019. They sent us a great discount code for awesome subscribers. Go to phantomboxing.co.uk if you want to try any of their six styles of boxing gloves, headgear, groin guards, hand wraps, or their Cobra reflex bag. And when you go to the checkout and enter the code COMBATCORP10 to save 10% off any and all purchases. That's COMBATCORP10 for any and all purchases. Thanks again to Phantom Boxing and enjoy the show. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'm your host, Al, the Postmaster tomorrow, and today I have a gear review on the Sanibel Gold Strike Training Gloves. Jones. All right, everybody, as always, I'm incredibly excited to bring you yet another gear review as today I'm going over the Sanibel Gold Strike Training Gloves. Now, these are a boxing glove line made by Sanibel, which is a company that I would like to say has only been around since 2014, if not 2015, because I remember my senior year of high school, which was 2015, Man, five years ago already. Uh, I saw a lot more people in boxing gyms start to bring the essential gels in to the gym. Now, the essential gels you've actually seen in a video before as the best beginner gloves out there. And I think I rated them pretty high, like at four or three. And I do recommend those people, instead of going out and getting the Everlast from Dick's Sporting Goods that are just cheap and are going to break your hands, I recommend going to get the essential gels. Uh, so the, the name of the company is actually fitting in those cases because as far as the company's name goes, Sanibel, I believe it comes from some type of Latin derivative of Sanibilis, which basically means to have good health and to heal easily. So that's the cool thing Sanibel's out. It's out there to maintain as long as the gear can and to keep you safe. So I like the name and I assume the logo has something to do with Sanibel as well. Uh, so I like the name and I like that the company is cheap for most people. Now they have three different models uh, or four different models or lines. They have their essential series which is basically stuff that says hey this is what you need to get uh, what you need to get into a sport so they have a lot of really good essential MMA shorts or jujitsu geese which are cheaper uh, compared to other companies and they also have compression wear they even have like grippy socks that you can use instead of wrestling uh, shoes which is really cool uh, and they have a lot of stuff that really speaks and screams to beginners of something that you might need to use they have MMA gloves they have boxing gloves that work for kickboxing gloves as well. And they also, I, I forget what it is. I think they're active line or I, I'll probably correct that. Uh, I forget what their uh, line is, but they also have a couple cool different designs with like tie dye and they even have a Star Wars line, which is awesome. I actually have the R2D2 gloves. And then you uh, also have the Gold Strikes, which I have in my hand, and then their Battle Forge model, which is basically like their intermediate to pro level line. And you see the likes of, uh, I think, I wanna say Tyron Woodley used their gloves at one point, but you see Michael Bisping, uh, preferably using the Gold Strike. They're actually his favorite gloves on the market now. TJ Dillashaw swapped over to these, and uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley swapped over to these, as well as Jason Perillo using their mitts. And I've actually used their Battle Forge mitts and their Battle Forge MMA gloves, and they work pretty well for me. Uh, personally, I like other mitts over them, and I like other MMA gloves because they're just too small for my hands. But I'll do a review on those one of these days. I'm sure I'll get into MMA gloves. But these gloves, I was really excited to uh, kind of learn and use and use rather. Uh, they are more or less geared towards the MMA crowd, and I'll get into that in a minute, but I was actually pretty impressed with these gloves throughout, and I wanted to start off with the look of the glove when we talk about the really nice uh, white background. Now, you can go with the black background as well, and they also have different uh, closures. There are lace-ups and Velcro, but I don't think that the hook and loop Velcro closure comes with the black glove yet. And I believe the black glove only came out recently. I want to say maybe two months ago I saw the black glove came out. But my girlfriend said you should get the white one over the black glove. I said, okay, I'll do that. So I got this uh, and it's a really cool white and gold. It kind of, I don't know, to me it looks like that heavenly color combination like you would see at the pearly gates. Um, and I also got 16 ounces. They come in 12, 14, and 16 ounce. I think they might actually come in eight too, but I'm pretty sure I saw 12, 14, and 16 ounces. But this is the white glove. You got the complete white uh, punch surface on the back of the glove with that Sanibel logo in gold, hence the gold strike. Uh, the thumb 
is completely white as well, as well as the palm is just about completely white. Same thing for the grip bars. As far as look goes, you can see all the ventilation holes as well. Uh, the palm piping is all gold. And I'll open this up here for a second, actually. So you can see 16 ounces here. So instead of normally you see most gloves have a small tag, it's a 16 ounces in gold with this gold line going down here. And uh, it's a really interesting thing here. It's like these two rubber pieces. I don't know what they're really for, uh, but they have the Sanibel logo on there and it just kind of gives it a nice little look to it. And uh, there's also the uh, strap in the middle here. The elastic strap is white. Uh, you go down to the bottom and you see this little gold uh, square there. What what that is, I honestly don't know, but when you turn it around, you get the same thing, that gold square, and it says fight for it. So I'm pretty sure that's Sanibel's uh, like kind of thing, like Everlast's greatness is within and stuff like that. Uh, fight for it is uh, Sanibel's, which is a pretty good logo. I like, I like Sanibel's. Uh, and then you have Sanibel's wrist strap is gold piping with white and of course black Velcro with Sanibel right there in gold lettering. So it's a pretty basic looking glove for most gloves out there. However, uh, white gloves normally tend to scare people as far as the durability and the way to clean them goes. But it goes into the construction of the glove, which the entire outer shell is actually made out of an engineered leather. So it's not real leather or even a uh, microfiber composite. It's engineered leather. So it is entirely, it's like a faux uh, material. It's man-made entirely on the inside and out. Uh, the stitching I also meant to mention, my bad, is also gold. And it's all a double line stitching since we're going into the design of the glove now. And like most gloves that have that soft uh, compartment on the inside, when we go into the padding in a second, has the detached thumb, well, the uh, separated thumb. So at one point, because that stitching here, it was just this part of the glove, and then they attach the thumb to the side. Uh, the thumb attachment is also right there, and it's made just out of the same thing as this engineered leather, and it's a white thumb attachment. But the gloves inside, I want to say they call it the DuraSoft. Uh, inner foam, which basically means it's a bunch of layered foams on the inside. If not, it, it doesn't feel like it's one solid piece like an IMF tech, but it is definitely a good inch or two of a high, a high density multi-layered foam like most Japanese styles are. So this is very much a pillow glove. And if you uh, really look into the people that use them, Tyron Woodley used winning for a long time. Uh, then he swapped to these and then Michael Bisping used winning, TJ Dillashaw used winning, Sugar Sean O'Malley in his former videos used winning and they all swapped over to these so they are very much a pillow style glove and they are very soft the only thing about these that are a little bit different unlike most foams is that it's a very responsive foam kind of like a latex feel to it but it isn't latex and you can definitely tell that uh just by how um it feels on your knuckles it definitely feels like a more memory foam uh layered uh more on top than on bottom uh over your knuckles there and it's actually a really comfortable feel when you punch things uh the thumb like i said is separated from most uh like most japanese styles or pillow style gloves uh, that way you have free mobility of your thumb uh, the wrist strap is pretty thin it's only about uh, two three inches wide uh, unlike most uh, of the wrist straps that i like are very big wrist straps but these uh it's a pretty thin one and it's still a pretty comfortable fit on the inside when you open up the glove you notice that it's that normal like polyester nylon type mesh feel it's antimicrobial and uh, it basically says on their website, it says it keeps the germs at bay and stuff like that, which is always going to speak volumes to most MMA guys, especially for the fact that uh, a lot of MMA guys will get staff, ringworm, and all those things compared to most boxers. Um, the ventilation holes on the inside are actually pretty useful. I've noticed, uh, unlike most gloves out there, engineered leather does breathe a little bit more because unlike... Uh, like regular leather, which is a hide, it is a skin, it traps heat very easily, just like we will. Whereas this is actually a lot easier to breathe out and it's really easy to clean on the outside. So it's a very smooth surface and the glove itself is very soft. It feels like a good firm memory foam pillow. The other thing I say about that is, unlike most Japanese styles gloves, is that there is a slight flat curve to the knuckle area over here. So you can still land flush like you would a puncher's glove but it doesn't have a puncher's glove feel when you hit, but it, it, it just recoils off a bag very easily. Uh, unlike most regular Japanese style gloves where you hit and it's just dead in the water. Um, when I put my hand on the inside of the glove, 
it's a very very soft feel and it's very mobile uh right when you get it out of the box i'll be entirely honest it feels just like it does now a month later it's sure it's a little softer in most areas and you can see the padding is uh just a little bit softer and much to my surprise there are no bubbling uh signs yet which bubbling is when the padding tends to break apart on the inside you see little tiny bubble spots all throughout the glove but there's none in there uh i don't have a lot of mobility with my thumb whatsoever it can't really move up down or outside so it's very very uh tight to the inside of my uh, inside of my hand and it kind of shapes my hand into a natural punch position especially when i bring it up it feels like something is keeping my wrist nice and formed but it does go down very easily that is one thing the wrist area is kind of flimsy compared to some other gloves that i would get um, and the wrist strap, I won't lie, does not keep my hand in there very well. So the wrist support might kind of scare some people away, but the one thing that's nice, uh, unlike most gloves out there, is that the padding on the inside is very, very soft and it makes it very good. Uh, same thing with the grip bar here up top. It's a very soft inner thing. Uh, so in my opinion, uh, inner thing, yeah, inner palm area. Uh, my opinion, it is very much more meant for say, kickboxing or MMA just because of how it feels because most t uh, gloves that are stiff in the wrist means that you can't really get a clinch and say curl down like that or open very wide and get a very good grip like you get with these because the grip with these gloves is amazing I've sparred with these once or twice and getting a Muay Thai clinch is very very easy with these gloves the one thing about them though is that they are actually a pretty big glove it compared to my head it covers them very well and right here it covers them very well they're not too big and they're not bulky at all and they're very light but they do weigh in at 16 ounces uh like they do market it in fact i think mine was 16.1 ounces or something like that which is crazy because it feels a lot lighter than that but as far as the uh design goes it's a very uh aesthetically pleasing glove for most people because you, some people like the white and gold black and gold look and uh, you can get a lace-up version of this so if you don't like the uh the velcro here uh, which i think is just easier for people in mma it's nice uh, it's very roomy on the inside so if you wrap your hands up with like say sponges or knuckle guards or do gauze and tape when you train these gloves are definitely for you and uh the whole inner side is actually very cool and it's a very good feel on your hand it's very soft it's very comfortable uh and it feels like your standard inside lining for gloves in this price range anyway but let's go into the bag work and the sparring view so you can see the gloves in action so these are an MMA glove, so I decided to actually kick the bag with these as well and try some clinch work stuff. Uh, and they are a very comfortable glove when it comes to hitting the bags, and especially the mitts. I do like these on the mitts. They are very protective. Uh, one thing I will say is like most Japanese style gloves, it does have a nice uh, soft feel when you hit, but the one thing I will say is unlike most Japanese style gloves, it actually has a flatter curve. So it feels like your knuckles are kind of piercing through the padding at some points, kind of like a puncher's glove would, but it doesn't have the puncher's glove recoil feel. It is very comfortable. And on the mitts, I like these a lot more than I do the bag. Sometimes my, uh, my wrists have jarred back on the bag with these gloves just because of how maybe soft and uh, the wrists do move a lot easier however the grips with these when you knee are very good and the setups with the kicks are very nice they're very light you can hit very fast and you can hit very hard with these gloves and that's one thing i do like about these compared to most other gloves out there on the market so the look of these gloves is really cool. I like the white and how it shines and the gold logo is very good as well. Uh, the one thing I will say about these is that you can actually pick them out pretty easy within a gym setting. I had one of my teammates try these out and they just look very, very functional from a distance. Uh, you will look pretty sharp on the gym, in the gym rather, as you use these. And I do say they have a really nice look to them in action. All right, everybody. So my final verdict for the Sanibel Gold Strike training gloves is I do like these gloves, but for once out of all the gloves that I've reviewed, I have more things to slightly complain about than I do to praise when it comes to these gloves. And I'm not saying that these gloves are bad because they're not, but I'm definitely saying there are a lot of areas that I wish Sanibel would improve with these. And I start with this uh, scenario and this uh, type of analogy. Most companies out there, say I'll use two as examples today, Title Boxing and Ringside Boxing have a lot of different things, or even Venom. We'll start with those, right? You got the Venom Challengers, and then you got, say, uh, you go up higher to the Venom Contenders, or if you go to Title, you have the Classic Training Gloves, 
which are like 60 bucks. And then you go to the title black, which is like 200 bucks. It's supposed to be the best thing ever, even though it's just, it looks cooler and it might act slightly better, but it's basically the same exact glove or ringside and their uh, apex gloves that most people use and their ringside heritage gloves, which are the same exact things, only they're just made out of real leather but it still has the IMF tech foam on the inside. It's still built the same as the Apex and it just might have a couple different caveats that they change. That's the vibe you get from Sanibel with these gloves, right? They have their Essential Series, which granted these are much better than their Essential Series, which is their base, you know, bottom line glove that you can get. But the one thing I will say is these kind of feel like their Battle Forge line. Now, I'm a fan of their Battle, Battle Forge line. In fact, I've seen a lot of coaches switch from their Battle Forge mitts from winning. Uh, like Jason Perillo, I mentioned earlier, uses the Battle Forge mitts now. Uh, but with these gloves, I uh, would personally think for the price range, especially that they're asking for, I would rather spend, say, $60 to $80 on a pair of gloves like these, if that. Um, 150 bucks is what you get these gloves for and I just don't think they're worth 150 I think there are a lot of gloves out there that are maybe a hundred to hundred and ten dollars that are better like the top box or one ones I think ringside apex might be a little bit better in my opinion and they're about sixty dollar gloves uh, Hayabusa t3s. I like a lot. I think they're better um, You know, I can list off a bunch of other gloves that are cheaper like uh like uh, heavy hitters, you know, they have good stuff, Fairtex or Haymaker, a lot of companies like that that have that price range of like 80 to 100 bucks are better than these in my opinion. Now, uh, these also feel just like their Battle Force model, which are like 40 to 60 bucks. Uh, obviously, they do have differences. Like the pluses to these is that the knuckle protection compared to the Battle Forged is a lot better. And that is a good thing to nail on. The knuckle protection with these gloves is very, very, very good compared to a lot of other gloves out there on the market in this price range. But I still think there are better gloves out there that are made better. Like going back to Top Boxer Win 1, I always go back to those or uh, even Phantom Boxing's El Kukui model, uh, they have better knuckle protection and it's cheaper. It's like a hundred bucks, $110, whereas these are 150 and they're not made nearly as good, I don't think. Although a month in, the padding hasn't bubbled yet, which is good, which I was shocked by that. And there's not a whole lot of markings and any marking that's on here, it's come off very easily. That's the thing you get with most white gloves out there. They're normally very hard to clean. And let me, let me poke this real fast, sorry. So it focuses on me because I just saw it blur out for a second. Sorry, yeah, I had to get too close to me there for a second. But uh, they look cool compared to a lot of other gloves out there, but they don't look a whole lot different than a lot of other gloves out there. I mean, you can get a pair of Goku gloves in the Win 1 series from Top Boxer uh, or a lot of other models, and these are just white and gold, you know, or black and gold, and they just have the logo and that. So as far as the looks go, they're fairly basic. Uh, do I think that these work as a good winning replacement for that price range? I do. Uh, the thumb is very comfortable. The knuckles are very much protected. And uh, much to their credit, I will say that you get a pretty good feedback from punching the bags and the mitts with these gloves. Uh, but the one thing I would say is I don't like these very much for regular boxing training. But when it came to MMA training and kickboxing training, I'm a bigger fan of these gloves. Uh, I think they were, once again, you see the people that use them, Michael Bisping, TJ Dillashaw, Sugar Sean O'Malley, and uh, Tyron Woodley use these. Uh, they are very much geared towards that MMA crowd, much like, say, Hayabusa or Venom would be. Although Hayabusa and Venom have taken their crack at getting to the boxing field, I don't think Sandoval is quite there yet. They are very durable. They drag on match very well. They uh, deal with uh, blocking kicks. They deal with a lot of other things. They're very mobile and they're very good at gripping things for clinch work and for wall work and big glove sparring when it comes to, uh, say, MMA training, as we all know and love. Uh, when we come to that, I think the glove is better. And I think that's why MMA people pay a little bit more for it because it's a very good MMA glove. Boxing glove, I wouldn't recommend it to most boxers, but I 
would recommend it to a boxer if it was say 60, 70, 80 dollars in that price range. For MMA people, I would still recommend that it would be at least 80 bucks, if not 100 at most. But uh, at most, I think my biggest complaint is the price. I think it's very well made for the glove that it is. I think it will last you a good two to three years, especially if you use it a lot, if you take good care of it. You know, use your disinfectants and clean it all off and keep everything good with that. I think it will last you a very long time. However, if I had to give it a personal rating for me, I would give it, say, just the price kind of kills it. I would put it at like a five to six out of 10. I think for MMA people though, I would put this glove in the topper eight two nine just because of how well it is but because of the price once again i would definitely say even for mma people six to seven out of ten personally i like using the glove i think it's very well made i just think the price somewhat sinks it for me compared to a lot of other people out there sandoval still a very good company i love their beginner stuff i will always recommend their beginner stuff to my beginners but as far as these go, I would just kind of say go with the company like Top Boxer or even Everlast, a lower pro, like a power lock. I prefer a power lock over these. And uh, I'm not a big fan of power locks, so that kind of speaks to it. But I don't mind the gloves. I think they're very good if you have brittle hands. Um, they will protect your hands a little bit. They're very comfortable on the inside and they feel good to spar with and your sparring partners are gonna like that they're nice and soft as well. And the engineered leather makes it very easy to clean and you don't have to have it as such high maintenance as rather regular leather would. But with that said, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the review and I hope you have a great day. These have been the Sanibel Gold Strike Training Gloves. I'll see you on the next episode. Jones.